from Bug Eye Guys. This is a Bug Eye Jesse. I want to give you a quick tour. This is a, a mid-production and upgrade tour. Uh, we're not done yet. We've got probably another four days of work to do because we're taking this fantastic car and just making it that much more super. We're, we're putting in a Ford five-speed transmission. We'll be removing this dashboard covering, recovering it all in, in Connolly leather, using uh, beige piping on those new leather seats with beige stitching. This is a Nevada beige car, a rare color, an original color, and we're just taking it out to the nth degree. These are the uh, new rear disc brakes going in. We will set this car up with wire wheels, just like you see here on Zach's car. These are painted wire wheels. It's actually quite delightful to watch these spinners going down the road and, and whipping the air in a frenzy. This car, Jesse, will have those same wire wheel spinners, although on chrome wire wheels. And a few words about the wire wheel conversion. This, by the way, is the beginning of the rear disc brake conversion as well that you see here. And there is a pan hard bar also mounted on this car. So many great upgrades. But nonetheless, the wire wheel housing, the carrier, is a little bit shorter. And that allowed the wire wheel axle to penetrate deeper into the differential. So this was a disc wheel car. By converting it to wire wheels, you run the risk that the wire wheel axle won't quite uh, penetrate deep enough into the differential and you could have an axle breakage on the inboard end. This being the axle and once you bolt it all together you need this to be deep enough into the differential unit. So what we have here is an extra long axle that we sell in our catalog and that solves the problem. It allows you to put a wire wheel conversion into a disc wheel car axle carrier, the axle housing, and that's a nifty solution to this problem. I'm really glad that we have these available. You'll notice that the rear spline that's under here, this is the spline drive for wire wheels. You know, you're switching from a bolt-on configuration. You're still using this hub, by the way, but the, the bolt-on setup uses four studs. The wire wheel uses a center drive spline, and these splines are here, and they have to be pressed onto these axles. Of course, if you get the long ones from us, they come this way. But there is a bolt-on wire wheel conversion. We're not super fond of that because we've had a few that came into the shop loose. So this is a much safer system for a wire wheel, wire wheel conversion. It's a very popular request, and we're really happy to have uh, this available. There is also some of the new bearings and whatnot, the shifter that we build so that your Ford 5-speed will exit from the original shift tower in the right location. Uh, without making that modification, you lose that the look with that original top hat um, shift tower. And here are the calipers and rotors getting ready to be installed as all of these upgrades continue. Back here, the twin-tipped stainless muffler that we sell. In fact, everything that you see on this car is available in our catalog at bugeyeguyparts.com. We have the electronic GPS powered gauges. When you change to these five speed transmissions, it's difficult to get an accurate speedo reading. So the GPS speedometer is really nice with the five speed. There's also an electronic tachometer because we're running an alternator. And so we get rid of all the often unreliable connections that make the mechanical tack work. Here's the larger rear view mirror and also some rear view mirrors mounted in the windshield stanchions and coming around the lift, you can see the new supercharger going in. Now, this is an interesting uh, upgrade. It's, um, it requires a few additional modifications. There's some modifications in terms of how we install all this stuff. There's an aluminum radiator as well for cooling. And then a uh, boost retard mechanical distributor to make sure that we uh, avoid detonation. We've also got ARP studs and an improved head gasket all to address this slightly higher reliability risk because you have some more boost in the combustion chamber. So we've strengthened the union between the head and the block as a just a proactive and preventative measure. We've got a, um, a fuse here for the USB ports under uh, the dashboard that are for charging phones and whatnot. 
There's also a trickle charger attachment. So a lot of nice upgrades going into this car. Also wire wheels. So it just, it's kind of on and on. Here's two USB ports with little cover plugs so you can, you and your passenger can charge your phones. And then, you know, this interior will be taken to the highest possible level, all to retain a very stock look on a very spectacular Bug Eye Sprite. We've done many, many concours uh, and original types of restoration. And we've also done many of these upgraded sort of super sprites where you're trying to get maximum reliability and performance out of this little car. And they're all wonderful here and we're happy to be doing this. If you want us to do this kind of thing to your car, check us out at bugeyeguys.com. Thanks for watching.